Hi and welcome to Food Fix. Today we're making a delicious gluten-free banana bread using almond meal instead of flour. Um, it is obviously a bit higher in calories because we've got the natural fats from the almond as well as the coconut oil. But in saying that, everything in moderation, it's a healthier treat. We are using whole foods, rich in nutrients, um, but you know, don't eat the whole loaf at once, obviously. So the ingredients that we have here today are we've obviously got our bananas. We have five eggs, which we're gonna separate later and use the egg whites as the raising agent. We have um, two and a half cups of almond meal, some pure vanilla extract, some sea salt, some coconut sugar as well. So coconut sugar comes from the coconut flour and it is higher in fiber than a natural processed white sugar. Um, and we have some cinnamon as well for flavor. And then finally some slivered almonds to put on top for decoration. We're gonna separate the eggs first. To do that quite easily, you just need to crack the egg on the side of your bench and you wanna gently fry it open. And then using the shell to catch the yolk, you just go back and forth until the whites are all out. And then you can discard of the yolk there. So we'll keep doing that. Okay, so now the egg whites are separated. We're just gonna blitz them using an electric mixer until they're light and fluffy as if you were to make a meringue. So now we're gonna get the bananas and we're just gonna take them apart as you normally would and put them in the bowl and use a fork to mush them up to make them gooey. So just peel them, add them into our bowl. The riper the banana, the better. So if you do have some older bananas, um, use them and use them up in a banana bread because the flavor is really sweet and they're really easy to mash up. So get the fork and just roughly smoosh them up. They don't need to be pureed because I think it's nice to have some little chunks of banana when you take a bite of banana bread. We can then add in all of our other ingredients. So we've got our almond meal here. But just keeping in mind that almond meal is obviously really high in fiber and it's full of um, our good fats, so our polyunsaturated fats and our monounsaturated fats, which can help to keep our cholesterol levels under control. Now we're gonna add in all the other ingredients. So the coconut sugar and our cinnamon can go in. We can add in our vanilla. So I like to use a vanilla extract rather than a vanilla essence because the extract actually has the little bits of vanilla seeds in it and it tastes so much more beautiful. And then we have our sea salt. We're just gonna mix that together, add in the coconut oil as well. So not much coconut oil, just enough to keep the mixture nice and moist. So just mix that through and then we're gonna gently fold through the egg whites a little bit at a time. So just fold them through gently so that you don't burst all of the air bubbles. The whole purpose of this is so that we have that natural sort of raising agent. So, once that's folded through, we're just gonna pour it into our loaf tin, which I've lined with baking paper. So it just makes it a lot easier to take out um, once it's ready. So put that in there. Just even it out. And then I've got the oven preheated, fan-forced oven on about 180 degrees, about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and you'll know when it's ready when you insert a skewer and it comes out nice and clean. Okay, so now the banana bread has been in the oven for about 20 minutes and it smells amazing. And you can see there that it's gone a beautiful golden color. Just to check that it is ready, get your skewer and just stick it into the center of the loaf and pull it out and it should come away quite clean. It will be a little bit gooey always with banana bread because the bananas are never gonna go dry. So as long as it comes out clean, you know that it's gonna be ready to cut and ready to cool down. So the reason why we've used the baking paper in here is because it makes it so easy to simply pull out and place on your board. Now that that's all ready, you can see that you can just easily peel it away 
and then you can cut it into perfect lunchbox segments or have it ready to go for guests as they come over, store it in the fridge in an airtight container, or you can even freeze it in individual sections, but when you defrost it, pop it in the oven to make sure it goes nice and crispy before you serve it. So just gently cut it. So there you have it, a really healthy, gluten-free, dairy-free, high fiber banana bread. Um, super easy, doesn't take too long. You can add so many different things to it and that's it.